Reef DVM's coming at you here with answering a question with this video. What kind of camera setup do we use? In particular, what lens do we use? The answer is actually quite simple. Um, we have an Alpha 65 Sony camera and we slap on a Tamron lens. Uh, we use the 180 millimeter um, lens. It's a one-to-one -one macro, works great. It's got a base attachment at the bottom for a tripod here, which makes it really handy for us. Uh, it's focusing distance, again, 180 millimeters. Its aperture is about an f3.5. I think the angle of view on this is about 14 degrees. Um, I think the overall length is somewhere around 160, 165 millimeters, and it weighs about, oh, probably close to 1,000 grams. Um, I like this lens. I like it a lot. Here's the box it came in. Yeah, you can see there we had to cut it a little bit there to take some of the UPCs off it. But this Tamron was bought for the Sony. Make sure when you buy them, they come for your right DSLR camera. Ours is a Sony Alpha 65. This lens will work on any of the Sony Alpha series. Um, it comes with um, a nice uh, strap and bag to put the lens in, which I must admit a lot of times we don't do. Uh, we probably should, but uh, we don't always do that. And then, of course, included is a um, lens hood, which I like a lot. I use it on occasion in a set of directions. The lens hood helps, especially when you're shooting the tank, if you've got a lot of overcasting light that's coming down and sometimes getting in the way of the shot. As you can see as I zoom in here, this, this camera lens is pretty nicely detailed. It's got some nice grip to it. Um, it has auto and manual focus by moving that centerpiece back and forth. I particularly only like the um, manual part of it. The lens hood here attaches fairly easy with a half of a turn here once I get it set. And then the lens is pretty much ready to put on the camera. Again, I'll show you the um, the lens on the camera here in a second, and then I'll even take some shots with it so that you can see what it looks like. So here's our Sony. It's on a slick tripod. Um, certainly, I uh, would recommend uh, a tripod for these type lenses, otherwise you move too much. Just going to take off the one on there. That's a standard, I think, uh, 27 to about 100 millimeter lens, and that's also a Tamron. Um, I, I particularly like the Tamrons just because they're a little bit more affordable than the the Sony's, the Nikon's, and the Canon actual lenses. Um, again, generic, but I like them. Hooks on pretty easy. One thing you want to do is when you hook these on is you want to move over to the mount on the lens. Balances out the camera better, makes it more stable. Unfortunately, I haven't bought for this particular tripod, the Slick, I haven't bought an extra um, end on it, which I need to do so that I can have them both on the camera and the lens. But I'll do that soon. So anyways, here it is, folks, on the camera and stand. This is how we normally typically use it. As you can see, it's a little bit of a beast, but it really does zoom in on the flies, which is what I like. Here's the frog spawn coral pick. Uh, I'm going to just show you random picks here and show you what it can do. Here's zooming in on a red mushroom. Most of these are shot at one-to-one. -one. Um, emerald crab under a rock. Again, you can reach in and get it. It's got a real nice distance on it. You want to see the fingertips of your coral? Well, oh, here's the fingertips of a Duncan coral. Um, people always ask, can you zoom in on the tips of a torch? Well, there you go, folks. This is a pulsating zinnia. It is stopping the pulse in motion. So that's the camera working, but the lens taking a great shot. Again, standard mushroom here you can zoom in on. You can also back up a little bit and take the whole fish. And if you have a fast enough DSLR, you get the whole fish. This is our diamond Golby at 1 to 2 ratio on the lens. Click it over to 1 to 1 and you can zoom in right on the eyeball. Same shot, just changing the focus on it a little bit and moving it to 1 to 1. Double head Duncan, again, get the whole thing of the Duncan, change it, and you can start zooming in, which is really nice. That's what I like about this lens, folks. It works really good. So when people ask me, where do I get my pictures from? I tell them I take most of them myself with a Sony Alpha camera with a Tamron lens on a 180 millimeter. 1 to 1 macro. Thanks for watching folks. Please subscribe to our channel. Um, that way we'll keep putting out great videos like this. Thanks.